good morning guys it is uh leaving day we're gonna head to kentucky today but i believe this is the coldest it's been so far we have icicles on our awning it's actually snowing yeah we had some snowing. flakes of snow so this is actually the coldest it's been but i wanted to show you our little our site Yeah, it's super nice. These these little border things look brand new. I think they just put them in and stuff. But yeah, the sites are a little close together. Like you can see, there's one right there. There's one right here. I think they are. So yeah, so uh, it's it feels busy. It'd be a little bit closer together than we're used to, but uh, it's not busy. As you can see over there, they have where the fifth wheels are all the big ones across on the other side but we got our our row all to ourselves and that right there and that's the most important thing right over there <laughs> we're right by the bathroom <laughs> we always check that out whenever we're getting a site so because we don't have a bathroom but i also wanted to show you uh what we came with on our trip what we packed because we're coming from Texas going to Boston going to Florida so we got to pack for different types of camping like on the way up uh, we're just planning on basically overnighting so we're usually not gonna set up but we were here a couple days so we put the ironing out on the on the camper this time but most time we're not gonna do that uh, but what we brought back in the back back there you can't see it on the other side of those bins is our hot water shower we don't plan on using it on the way up. That's what we use the, the bathhouse and showers for on the way up. When we get to Florida and stuff like that, that's when we plan on using stuff like this. Uh, we don't have water on our camper right now because it's so cold. We don't want to freeze lines or anything. So that's after Boston. But in the back behind there, we have a propane fire pit and a Blackstone cooker so that is also after we leave boston that's when we're gonna actually do camping well, that's why they're in the back back there right here in these bins that's our kitchen and our pantry the top one's got our food and stuff in it below it there's another one just like it and it's got our pots and pans and all our kitchen stuff in there of course we got our generator which is right there our chairs for when we get set up our cooler and then we got brielle's wheelchair all torn apart and put right here in this spot right here this is for her stroller it goes together like that and then her tools our tools <laughs> not her tools her tools yeah <laughs> but yeah up. we're pretty packed in here on the inside of the truck we're packed up there too we got our jackets extra jackets and stuff like that in there brielle's food all of brielle's foods in the back i think we got everything it seems like we we've packed pretty decent so far uh, i don't think we grabbed extra all oh, that thing right on top right there also is a trash can that's what it's covering up that way uh yeah that's how we packed to go on a trip from texas to boston down to florida when we get all four different seasons probably that we're gonna see so yeah well, let's go check out the camper. All right, so this is what we're doing the whole trip in. I, I know y'all seen it before in our, our videos, but uh, we got a little bit extra stuff on it now. We have, we carry our propane tank for our fire pit back there and for our Blackstone, if we need to use this kind of right there. Uh, we had to bring gas for our generators, our generator. Uh, so we stored it right there, but we got our awnings out. That's our 270 degree awning that covers me all the way around to the back of back here. And then we also have another awning we didn't put out this time because we didn't feel we needed to. But up there, for when we really get set up, the back back here. This is our galley. Excuse the mess. We have food. That we have to store somewhere and this is where we're storing it right now but yeah this is the galley 
uh, our stove, our sink that we're using for storage right now, uh, seasonings, plates, everything. Microwave. Yeah. There's a microwave that's in storage right now. And this is our refrigerator slash freezer. We have it set up as a refrigerator right now. But yeah, that's our setup. That's what we're going, taking the whole trip. Uh, as we, Brielle eats more food and stuff, we free up space because we got boxes and boxes of her food that she has to eat. Uh, it'll free up space and some of this can go into the truck and you know, we'll be able to move some stuff around. But right now, we're at the beginning of the trip, so we're filled to the brim. So, but yeah, what y'all think? I think we're doing all right. I think we remembered most stuff, but uh, yeah. I'm gonna show you parts of the campsite now. The area, there's a creek right over there. We're gonna walk over there here in just a minute. We're, Brielle's on the inside of the camper because it's really, really cold. See, it's still, there's still an icicle right here. Still an icicle. So it's really cold today. So we're letting her stay in the warmth. But we're about to head down to the creek. Well, I'm about to head down to the creek. And Nikki's gonna stay here with Brielle. And uh, it's just too cold. We're, gonna, we're gonna check it out. It's been a while, but we finally get to add another state to our map. We're gonna add them all along the way for our whole trip whether we sleep there or if we do some kind of activity there. So hopefully we get to add quite a few on this journey. So there's Tennessee. Now tonight we're gonna move on to Kentucky. These are the bathrooms. Nice and warm in here. It's like toasty in here. But yeah, there's the toilets on this side, showers on this side. Jeans in here the first day we're here and they're still here. So if I want some meals. But yeah, they're pretty nice. Especially they're really warm. Alright, let's go to the creek. This is nice. Okay. We've had a lot of rain, so I don't know what this normally looks like, but uh, they wouldn't let us get the, the campsites that were right on the creek. I guess they were worried about uh, it flooding because a lot of rain was expected. But uh, yeah, it's pretty common. Hadn't got to enjoy it too much because of uh, it's been so cold. Our camper is right on the other side of that camper right there. So not far, not far from it. It'd been nice. It'd been nice to be able to uh, get on the water though. But they wouldn't let us. But we wanted to be by the bathrooms anyway. Alright, well we're about to load up. We're gonna drive around the park a little bit, show you a little bit of what's around the park. And then we're heading out to Go get something to eat in Nashville. We heard about this Nashville hot chicken place. Not Hattie B's, it's a different one. We've had Hattie B's, but they said, we've heard that this other place is really, really good. So we want to try it out. So that's what we're going to do.
I promised I was gonna show you parts of the park. Heading down to the swimming area right now. It is like a steep incline or decline or whatever it is to get down to it. But it is so nice out here. On the way in here, we, we passed the golf course, which it looks like it's really nicely kept up. Even though it's, uh, it's winter, it still looks pretty good and it got rained a lot and it still looks pretty good so but we went down there and uh we passed that up and there's the lodge which is actually right there i don't know if the trees but we went uh they have a driveway that goes to it we went past it and they have a restaurant in there and hotel rooms and I'm not sure how busy it is right now. It doesn't look like anything's busy right now. I don't even know if it's open right now. The restaurant was open. We didn't uh, we didn't take advantage of it or anything, but I don't even know what they have. But it's pretty neat that they have the, the options. Then they have basketball courts, tennis courts. There's a baseball field somewhere. But yeah, it is, I bet this is a, a happening place during the summer because it has all these options it probably isn't as easy to get into like me and nikki were talking about you know coming during the summer sometime but this may be one of them that you have to book out like six months in advance like some state parks are when we looked it up it showed that this was a very popular park because it's only 45 minutes from Nashville for one thing. So it's their escape park. But uh, I can see why it's popular. It's got all kinds of stuff. Look, here's a swimming hole, swimming area. So this is Acorn Lake, is what it's called. Yeah. It's pretty, it's not clear. And look at the bridge walking over to the, the lodge. That's neat. You can go straight from the lodge over the bridge, over the water. To come swim. Yeah, we really like it. There's kayak rentals. Definitely gonna have to look into this because we can bring Brielle uh, swimming. She loves to swim. Uh, we got our new blow up kayak and this would be a great place to, to check it out. Yeah, but we're about to head to Nashville. Like I said, we're going to get some chicken, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna end this video here. That'll be on the next video. We'll be actually Nashville. This, this is only gonna be about this park. And I can't even remember what the name of it is. I'll put it right down here at the bottom of the screen. How's that? But it's nice, really nice. And I just took a shower after we got the trailer loaded up. I took a shower and uh, the showers are, whew. it's like a sauna in that bathroom right now. Being below freezing right now and you go in that bathroom it's like a sauna and then the showers are nice and oh it was nice well anyway i'm just rambling now well i'm gonna head back up this hill see the trucks coming up there and uh, we're gonna head to nashville but we're in it right now please subscribe give us that thumbs up check us out on facebook on instagram all that stuff uh we were really really do appreciate it oh my gosh but until next time